It's New Year's Eve and almost last minute, we decided to host New Year's dinner. So we have a ton of family coming over and I needed to make a grocery run. Hey guys, my name is Vanessa if you are new and typically I share a grocery haul for my family of six on Saturdays once a week. However, when I made my meal plan, I wasn't sure what we were doing New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. And since then, as of Monday, I asked everybody if they would wanna come over for New Year's dinner because Christmas was canceled, all my family was supposed to come over, we were supposed to have a huge dinner together, we did not. So I wanted to host a New Year's and pretty much everybody said yes. So I was like, all right, now I need to make a plan, get some groceries and all of that good stuff. So I went to HEB for the majority. I got a couple things from Target. I'll share everything that I picked up. I'm also gonna share my meal plan for New Year's dinner. Um, because I have a lot of family coming over, everybody is kind of bringing something. So I did not have to buy like the whole meal. And I already had several things on hand. So I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up and then we'll go over the meal plan and Hopefully, if you guys haven't decided for New Year's yet, it'll give you guys some ideas. All right, let's start our little overview with the sweets. <laughs> so this is everything that I picked up. We'll start with the sweets. I did get three different cakes this time. Actually, this one's a meringue pie, but I wanted three different flavors. Um, everybody loves different things. We have several kids coming. So I got an Italian cream cake. I might write something on top of here. I probably will because I have some icing. I might write Happy New Year's. This is a chocolate cake with a strawberry frosting. Looks so good. And then this is a lemon meringue pie. So that should be plenty for everybody that is coming over. Um, I am pretty set on um, other drinks, but completely out of Coke Zero and several people are watching their sugar. And obviously if there's leftovers of this, I will not have a problem with that <laughs> because I love Coke Zero. I don't even know the last time I had a real Coke. I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, this is addicting now. So I got one pack of that. Then I am going to be doing a veggie platter. So I needed to pick up a few things. I got some carrots, celery. I got a three color pack of peppers. I just got a small head of broccoli because I mean, at least in my family, we'd rather have this stuff in the cucumbers, I got two cucumbers, then broccoli. So I just got a small head because I didn't want to be left over with a bunch. Then I'm making two different dips, two different flavored dips. So I got two 16 ounce containers of sour cream. The two dips are both ranch, but the Fiesta is a favorite, but not everybody likes the Fiesta, so I got the regular one as well. The three oranges are for the beer, which I actually picked up, but I forgot to pull it out. It's already in the refrigerator. I got a 12 pack, a case of Blue Moon, which is our favorite, and we love to have it with oranges. So I did get three oranges. The tomatoes are for a tomato mozzarella bites. I've made them before. Everybody loves them, um, as well as the basil. Then I got the mini peppers because I'm gonna do the little mini pepper bites as well with the cream cheese and mozzarella cheese in it. I'm not gonna put bacon, sometimes I do, but this time I'm not. That way my oldest daughter um, will be able to enjoy it because she does not eat meat. I did get two packages. I don't think I need this much. I might, I don't know, but I got two packages of the like microwave safe, a little sturdier uh, paper plates. It's by Elegant Living by HEB. So I got two of those. And I also went ahead and got a bigger pack of the cups. There's a hundred in here. We will not need that many. There's not a hundred people coming. However, we are having a lot of get togethers lately and I do not have enough cups for everybody, like glasses and stuff. So this is gonna be nice to have on hand whenever we have people come over. So I did opt for the bigger package. And then um, other than the beer that I already mentioned, I got some wine as well. And these actually came from Target. So I typically buy wine from HEB and I buy six at a time because it's you buy six and it's 10% off. Typically I buy six, but I don't need six bottles of wine. So when I was at Target, I noticed that theirs is by four, get 10% off plus my red card. Actually, I don't know if my red card works on alcohol. I'm not sure about that, but the 10% off four was a better deal than 10% off six. So I went ahead and got 
four bottles because like I said, I don't need six, but they're all Moscatos <laughs> because that's just what we love. We love sweet wine. So Stella Rosa is our absolute favorite. So I made sure to get that. And then we've had the cupcake one before, which is pretty good, the Moscato Diosti. And then I got two other Moscato Diostis. Actually, they're all Moscato Diostis, which is just a sweeter wine. But I don't think we've tried these two flavors yet or brands. So Lucio and then Rufino. Um, so look forward to trying those. Okay, and now here is my meal planner, which you guys have seen, but not for a while if you're not new. You've seen my meal planner. It is a Carrie L meal planner. I absolutely love it. I've been through several different kinds and brands and layouts, and this is just the one that has been working out the best for me. So I will have a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. Um, I think I'm almost done with this one and I think I'm gonna get the smaller one next time. This is the big one, but here lately I've been taking this into the store with me and this one is just massive. So I think I'm gonna get the smaller one, but I love it. And I actually didn't really use the gatherings page that much until we moved and I've used it three times already. So I absolutely love this. So for the event, of course, it is New Year's. You can see the shadow of my camera. I'm sorry about that. So appetizers, I'm gonna be making deviled eggs. I didn't need to buy anything for that. I have plenty of eggs on hand. I picked up stuff for the veggie tray. I already have mozzarella balls for the tomato mozzarella bites. So I just got the basil and the tomatoes. And then peppers, I already have cream cheese and shredded cheese. I just needed the pepper. So that's everything I bought for the appetizers. As far as side dishes, the only thing that I'm making is the green beans, and I'm trying something new. I mean, it's not really a recipe. You're just baking green beans and wrapping it with bacon, like making little fancy looking green bean bundles. I'll try to find, I just saw a picture on Instagram, and I was like, oh, that looks really cute, and I was gonna make it for Christmas, but of course that was canceled. So I'll try to find um, whatever blog that was from that I originally found on Pinterest and link it down below for you guys. But as far as the other side dishes, other family members are bringing them. So we're gonna have rolls, black eyed peas, of course. This is what we just, it's just tradition for us. What is your tradition? Do you eat anything for good luck or anything like that for New Year's? Let me know. Cornbread, uh, my mom said that she has a new mac and cheese recipe that she wants to try, so I'm really excited to try that. And then potato salad. Our main course, oh my gosh, you guys, if you live anywhere in the surrounding area, New Braunfels, San Antonio, um, or close to Luling, if you have not tried their sausage, and I don't remember what it's called, there's like a little shop there, but my parents have been going there for years and picking up their sausage, and it is the best sausage we have ever had. So my mom's actually driving there and picking up some sausage, so that is gonna be our main course. A little different for New Year's, but it's delicious. Desserts, I just wrote cakes because I didn't know what I wanted until I saw them at the store. So I ended up picking the three that I showed. And then as far as drinks, I picked up some wine, got the beer, um, and got the Coke Zero. And then we have Sprite and juice boxes left over from this is what we were gonna have out available for Christmas. And then I didn't really make a kid's function, but when um, I was planning out Christmas, I wrote like activities that I had for the kids to do and stuff like that. So this is a nice little spot to have. And then as far as supplies, I knew I wanted to get some cups and sturdier paper plates. So I had written that down. And then I didn't use this grocery list because I actually got a few other things that were like household items that were in with this also. So I had another grocery list um, available, but this is perforated so you could write on here and tear it out and just take this to the store if you wanted to. So I absolutely love that. But that is the plan for New Year's and I just wanted to share that with you guys with it being New Year's Eve. All right, so now I need to put all this stuff up and clean my house from top to bottom. Since I do have family members coming over that haven't seen the house yet, I just, I have to have a clean house when people come over. I don't know, it's just, it's so funny. Let me know down below. Whenever my mom knew somebody was coming over, even if it was, um, I don't know, like somebody who'd been over a million times, she would have to clean and pick up. And that, she instilled that in me. So even though my house isn't that bad, I feel like I need to like clean it from top to bottom all over again before tomorrow. So let me know what you guys are doing for New Year's Eve. We're not doing anything fancy. We're not going out. We're not doing fireworks. We're not staying up till midnight. I mean, to be honest, I will probably be in bed before 11. So 
Happy New Year's to all y'all. <laughs> but give this video a big thumbs up if you love when I share grocery hauls, even when I surprise you one in the middle of the week. Subscribe if you are new. And today is the last day of Vlogmas, so I will not see you guys. I don't think I'm gonna post a video tomorrow with it being New Year's. I think I'm gonna give myself a little break, but I plan on sharing something on Friday or Monday with a like year in review, um, a little bit of the financial side of YouTube and all that fun stuff. So if you are interested in that, make sure you are subscribed, that the bell is clicked so you are notified when I upload since it's not going to be daily anymore. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.